What is most challenging for people is actually calculating the true practice profitability. And there are resources now available to help you do that so you don't have to dig through these slides and dig through the numbers and try and figure it out on yourself. The National Commission on Veterinary Economic Issues and Vet Partners, the, the uh, former Association of Veterinary Practice Management Consultants and Advisors, have joined together to, to and created a profitability estimator that is available on the NCVI website. And that website is www.ncvi.org. I'm on slide 42 now. The National Commission on Veterinary Economic Issues was formed in 2000 by the AVMA, the American Animal Hospital Association, and the American Association of Veterinary Medical Colleges to address economic and business issues facing the profession. NCVI is generously sponsored by members of the animal health industry, and because of these generous contributions, all of the tools and resources available from the NCVI are free to members of AVMA and AHA. This is a, a picture of the new homepage of the NCVI, and if it's been more than two months since you've been to the NCVI's website, you may be surprised to see this. It's a big change from what the, the previous homepage and the previous look and feel and graphics of the website were, and I would highly encourage you to, to come back and check out the resources. You may notice across the top there are tabs that let you pick what kind of a practice you are so that you'll go straight to the tools and resources that are most useful to you. We have a section for general practices, one for specialists and referral practices, one for teaching hospitals, and one for students. You'll also see, um, you, if you scroll down the home page, you can also click on the, the pictures that, that I'm going to do that slide over. You couldn't see so much on the first slide, the pictures that go with each of these different types of practices, but you can also click on the little go buttons associated with the pictures after you've decided where you best fit. There are landing pages for each of the different practice types. This is an example of the landing page for general practices, and it describes all of the different kinds of resources that are available for general practices. The profitability estimator is included in the benchmarking tools. This slide shows you a screenshot of what the benchmarking tool landing page looks like. On the left, you can see all of the different categories for benchmarking tools that the NCVI offers. Profitability is one of those categories, and once you've clicked on the profitability line, you'll see the profitability estimator listed below. And like I said previously, this is a joint project between the NCVI and vet partners. Once you click on the profitability estimator, you'll have a couple of options. You can print a checklist that lists out all of the information you're going to need to calculate that profitability. There's also descriptions of where you get that information. If you already have your documents gathered together, you can click the Use This Tool button. And if you've already entered your data but want to come back and look at the results and see how you compare to other practices, you can simply click the View Results button. This is an example of the checklist. We have four different checklists available for each of the different kinds of tax forms. So if your practice files a Form 1040, a, you're a, a sole proprietorship and you use a Schedule C, then this checklist will be customized to you and it will actually tell you which line items on the tax return you want to use to calculate this. And it makes it much easier than trying to dig through the tax return yourself and figure out, okay, where exactly is amortization? This slide is an example of what the questions look like. There's about 15 questions you have to fill out to calculate your profitability. You'll see the little question mark icons at the end of each question. If you click on those, it will take you to a little section that describes what is the information that you're looking for and where do you find it, either in your tax return or in your other practice documents. And this slide shows an example of the the question mark or the information you get after you click on the question mark icon. So it's a, a little description of the item, say in this example, depreciation expense, and where you would find it. And for example, here it says if you file a Form 1040 Schedule C, this amount will be on line 13 of the tax return. After you've entered your data, you get to pick the types of practices you want to compare yourself to. You can either pick practices based by state or practice location. For example, practices in suburbia or urban practices or rural practices. You can look at practices that are of a similar size to you, or you can look at, say, 
feline only practices, 24 hour only practices, whatever. And you can come back and forth and you may first of all compare yourself to practices in certain states, but then you wanna come back later and look at it compared to based on the number of FTE veterinarians. So you have a lot of flexibility in how you use this. Once you have selected how you, or the types of practices that you wanna compare yourself to, this is an example of the results page you'll see. And you'll notice at the top that you'll see the dollar amount of your practice's profits. You'll also see the profit margin. And then you'll see a graph that shows how your practice compares to other practices. If you had entered this information last year, you'll see not only this year's practice profitability, but your, your practice profitability for last year. Then you'll see a United States average. You'll see averages for each of the regions, as well as for the demographic that you picked, for example, different states. We do have to have 20 people who have entered their information before we'll show results for any kind of a demographic. So for example, you know, if 100 people have entered their data for the United States, you'll see a United States average. But if all of those people are in the Northeast, then you won't see information for the West or the, the Southern regions. However, the, the website is, is always available. People are coming and entering data um, at all different times. So if there's not 20 people, say for Illinois, in this example now, there may very well be in two weeks. At the bottom of this results page, we show the estimated profit margin. We show those parameters that the Veterinary Evaluation Resource Council came up with. And then what does that mean? So what's a superior profit margin? What's an average? And what's the likelihood of that? How likely, I'm gonna say that over. At the bottom, we also have a little chart that shows estimated profit margins and what the impact of that prof profit margin is likely to be on your practice value. Let's say you don't like the results or you like them okay, but you still wanna make some improvements. The NCVI also has a resource library where you can go to find information about the various aspects that impact practice value. Part of our resource library has RSS feeds with the many articles, news items that are available from DVM 360. We also have uh, practice management articles, resources that you can use uh, that are available. I'm sorry, I screwed that all up. I'm gonna try this slide again. <laughs> Let's say you don't like the results of your profit calculation. The NCVI has a resource library that includes all sorts of information on the different factors that impact practice value. And you'll see a couple of different things here. We have RSS feeds from DVM 360 and all of the articles ever included in DVM News Magazine and Veterinary Economics are included on the DVM 360 site and the ones that are pertinent to practice value, we have RSS feeds here. We also have other articles that we've collected over time about different aspects of practice management and they can help you improve the areas of your practice that you need to improve.